Limbo, or Anti-Submarine Mortar Mark 10, A-SMK.10, was the final British development of a forward-throwing anti-submarine weapon originally designed during the Second World War. Limbo, a three-barreled mortar similar to the earlier Hedgehog and Squid which it superseded, was developed by the Admiralty Underwater Weapons Establishment in the 1950s. Squid was loaded manually, which was difficult on a pitching deck in heavy seas with no protection from the elements, in contrast Limbo was loaded and fired automatically, with all the crew under cover. It was widely fitted on the quarterdeck of Royal Navy escort ships on a mounting stabilized for pitch and roll from 1955 to the mid-1980s. Australian-built versions of the Daring-class destroyer all carried Limbo as did the Australian River-class destroyer escort. Limbo was also widely employed by the Royal Canadian Navy, being incorporated into all destroyer designs from the late 1950s to the early 1970s, including the St. Laurent, Restigouche, Mackenzie, Annapolis, and Iroquois classes. The firing distance of the mortars was controlled by opening gas vents, rounds could be fired from 401,000 yards, 379 10m. The weapon was linked to the sonar system of the ship firing on command when the target was in range. The rounds were projected so that they fell in a triangular pattern around the target. Limbo could fire in any direction around the ship and is reported to have been very accurate. The weapon was used in the 1982 Falklands War, and remained in service in the Royal Navy and Commonwealth Navies until the 1990s. A surviving system is preserved at Explosion. Museum of Naval Firepower in Gosport, Hampshire. Sonar control of the A-S Mortar MK-10 The firing of the Mortar MK-10 was controlled by the Type 170, and later the 502, attack sonar from the Sonar Control Room, SCR, which was generally located next to the operations room in the warship. The 170 sonar had three operators who maintained sonar contact with the target and effectively aimed the weapon in bearing, range, and depth. The operators were controlled by the SCO, Sonar Control Officer, who was in charge of the SCR. When a contact had been confirmed as a hostile submarine, the SCO manually fired the mortar MK-10 from the SCR upon receiving the order from the captain in the operations room. The firing was done by means of a pistol grip and trigger mounted to the deckhead immediately behind the operators. General Characteristics Total System Weight 35 tons including 51 projectiles, 17 salvos. Type anti-submarine mortar. Place of origin United Kingdom. Service history. In service 1955-1980s. Used by Royal Navy. Royal Australian Navy. Royal Canadian Navy. Libyan Navy. Wars Falklands War. Production history. Designer Admiralty Underwater Weapons Establishment Specifications Crew 3 Shell 400 pounds depth charge Caliber 12 inches, 30 centimeters Barrels 3 Effective firing range 400 yards, 366 m, to 1000 yards, 914 m Warhead Minol Warhead weight 94 kilograms 207 pounds. Detonation. Mechanism. Proximity and slash or time. Guidance. System. Type 170 sonar. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.